Welcome to Point of No Response Halloween. <laughs> We were talking about like serial killers, you know, obviously just now, but we were doing it on the last one. And I, and I was kind of thinking of like um, the last words of some of these people who. Uh, executed. Uh, yeah. Executed. B- before their execution, you know, what, what did they say? Like, I mean, what goes through your mind right before you're about to die? You know, and some of these people are, it's some heinous fucking shit, horrible shit. But when you're faced with death, when you know you're going to die, at that moment, what do you say? You know, and it's it's kind of interesting to me that some of them are just fucking out there and some of them are just like really interesting. You kind of hope, though, in that moment you say something really completely fucking cool and badass. I mean, you're going out, so, you know, um, lights John, off. So let me just say something awesome. Like, John, you know, John Wayne Gacy was one of them. Okay, uh, I did write down something that he had said. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did he say? I could have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you pesky kids. <laughs> uh, was that uh, it? Scooby Doo. You nailed it. it. He was nailed it. it. <laughs> yeah. No, he said, uh, "My public defender, the black guy, could have got me out." But <laughs> he like, nah, he was tripping. I said, nah, I wasn't, uh, John. You tripping? You tripping? So, you yeah. tripping, now, John? Since, since you brought up John Wayne Gacy, here's the last thing that uh, at least that I saw that he supposedly said was, "Kiss my ass." Probably a little Hell more yeah. than that. I, that's interesting. That's it. <laughs> Kiss my ass. I don't know why I thought it was more than that. It might have been like uh, I mean, I, I've seen some yeah. different articles where you know mm-hmm. it, it, it one will go this way, one will go that way. You know, um, so you, it's there's got to be a rating of like most badass, most badass. I so I wrote down a few. Okay, okay. mind if I share them with you? Um, there's a guy named James French. He was an American uh, double murderer who was executed by electrocution in Oklahoma in 1966. Uh, he, he they was not going to kill him, so. Guess what he did? He killed his cellmate in prison where he was serving a life sentence for another murder oh. in order to force the state to execute him. Damn. He's like, please. please. So his Just name was John French. Me out of my misery. Guess what his final words were? Thank you. Vive la France. <laughs> <laughs> James French. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What was his last words? James French's last words. Hey, fellas. How about this for a headline for tomorrow's paper? <laughs> French fries. Oh my God. Corny as <laughs> fuck. Oh my God. That guy is a genius. No, it's. it's that's, I, that's kind of a badass that's thing to say. That's pretty badass, though. I mean. Like, I'm going to. I'm going to. I think gonna, you take That's the original. That's crazy. Like, French, no, no, that's the original French Eminem. French fries. fries. That's crazy. That's the original Eminem. I'm going to make fun of myself so you can't have the last laugh. That's right. That's true. Yeah. Awesome. There's okay. nothing French. you can say about me that French I already had. Fr- he I already haven't right? said about he myself. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. French, French fries. fries. That's crazy. Isn't Bars. that great though? Mm. Bars, bars, yo, on King David. On King David. I thought what I was saying. Really that. that shit was fire. Cause what the hell? Are we allowed to say that? Yeah, on King David. Yeah, you are. White people allowed to say that? Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, y'all are. I think we are. I think it's a trap. I can say whatever y'all want. What's another one? Um. Uh, you want me to give you one of the most frightening ones that I've seen? Yeah. Okay, so th- this guy, uh, probably one of the most frightening ones that I, I've looked up, and his name is Albert Fish. He's a notorious American serial killer, rapist, child molester, and cannibal who committed at least three child oh, murders from July 24th to, to June, ni- sorry, July 1924 to June 1928. He was also known as, he had different uh, names. And uh, he was known as the Gray Man, <gasps> the Wolf of Wisteria, Ooh. the Brooklyn Vampire, the Moon Maniac, and the Boogeyman. Mm. He gave himself those names. I don't think so. Nope, uh, not he had back a, then. <clears throat> yeah, he had a history of mental illness and his family suffered abuse in an orphanage, orphanage as a child. He developed a perverse fascination for pain, urine, feces, and cannibalism. Like this, this guy did a lot of, let's just say bad, bad shit. Yeah. So his last words. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
He said the exact same thing, but fish fries. No! <laughs> that would be so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the same exact thing. Yeah. All right, well, what did he say? Albert Fish's last words were, I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> <gasps> oh, my God. How do you not know? No, that makes get... me think that Mental he's illness. melted. Me- he's yeah. gone. Yeah. So, oh, fuck. How yeah. many personalities are rolling around in there that... <laughs> Yeah, this is probably before the time of where they Understanding really... Understanding well, of... That, that's like the 1924, 19, 1928? Yeah. I mean, you figure in the 1970s... <laughs> uh, say, is I that a space bug? It's a space bug. His name is like ah. Bill or something. Billy... The 24 Faces of Billy on uh, Netflix. The guy from him. fucking uh, Colum- Cleveland, Columbus. Oh, uh, no. Not him. He would, he would rape women and then like rob them. And then he was like... That wasn't me, but he was like raped and... Well, oh, yeah. as a child, he was Ugh. he would act as somebody else, so he wouldn't have to deal with it in that moment. So it like cr- kind of created yeah, a, a different a different him. So like they would talk to him and like ten other people in in the interviews, and it's like the first he's like the first person to have multiple personality disorder. Basically, uh, I heard of uh, was it Sybil? Yes. Sybil had 20-something personalities? Yes. Yeah. That is a, that was a really scary but interesting split? story. No, that's, it, yeah. <laughs> no, we know. <laughs> so I was going to say that too. Patricia, 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 Patricia was my favorite one. Dr. Jekyll, no, Mr. Hyde. But Sybil I love was Patricia. a true story. Patricia was yeah. my favorite one. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. She was great. Yeah. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. I know what you're saying. <laughs> All right. Here's, since we went on a dark one right there, here's mm. one that I... I I liked. I don't know. <laughs> Let me say this about a murderer. Anyway, this guy was uh, convicted of some murders. His name was uh, Thomas J. Grasso, and he was uh, sentenced to death. And his last words were, I did not get my SpaghettiOs. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. His last meal was not honored. It was not honored. That's correct. I get so it. So he asked I his totally last meal fucking was, get it. I want SpaghettiOs. Shit. Should he file for an appeal? Yes. Probably didn't get it. Probably now the statute of limitations. Yeah, right well, now. the statute yeah. of limitations <laughs> might be exceeded. <laughs> uh, <laughs> somebody's gonna have to file that appeal on you his it? behalf. You got him. I, I'm, I'm, I'm public defender of the year. You know I got. You got him. We, we got you. This is Mr. on Sp- you, Mr. Spaghetti O. <laughs> All right. So, so, since you guys liked one of these, I'm gonna give you this one. Uh, George Apple was an American criminal who was executed by electric chair in New York in 1928 for the murder of a police officer. So his name was George Apple. Um, what do you think his final word? The apple were? doesn't fall far from the tree. No, because it had, go had, had nothing to do with a kid. So, oh. uh, yeah, you know, so an apple doesn't fall far, far from the tree. Well, unless he was talking about himself to his father, I guess that's yeah, a possibility. Yeah. So, because he was implying that his father was also hey. as evil. What do you say on King David? He sent the cops and never ran up. He smoked his ass apple. like a summer sausage. That's what I feel like he said. <laughs> <laughs> he says, sausage. "Well, gentlemen." You're about to see a baked apple. <laughs> oh. uh, I hate a goat. Suppos- I agree. Supposedly, That's badass. supposedly uh, it was reported that he also said, uh, you're about to witness the damaging effect electricity has on wood. <gasps> Someone's oh. wiener. Now he's talking about uh, the electric tree. chair. The, no, the electric chair was made of wood. Yeah. Back in the day. So huh? electricity, the, how it's going to affect wood. No. Okay. I get that. I get that. I don't hey, think they cared, though. You, you, y'all hear about, so, remember, y'all hear about the one, the 14 year old who got uh, um, electrocuted? No. Nope. The 14 year old, the kid. There was no. a 14 year old? Yeah. The Omen. It was kid. the first kid to ever get electrocuted. I remember Ooh. I remember a 14 year old uh, black kid being lynched, I think. Yes. It, but I don't remember. But it, electric- he was black, but he got a, he got the chair. He was only. Give 14. us details. What happened? Was this back in the South during all of that it would have bullshit? To be. Okay, have to be. I w- I was kind of going that direction. Like, okay, this seems sort of familiar, but not. So what yeah, happened? Yeah, I know this. I forget his name and everything else, but I know he was young. He was only like thirteen, twelve, or whatever. I guess this is the person I think I, I was thinking of, um, George Stitney Jr. Yeah, that's ninety what pound. I- Black 14-year-old boy was executed in the electric chair in Columbia, South Carolina. There you go. What year? Yeah. For what? Pretty sad. What, uh, year? what year was that? Like some false accusation. 1944. Okay. Was that the guy they said, this woman said she raped him? I, I or believe she so. raped yeah. her? Yeah. Oh, and my yeah, God. Yeah. And oh, no. No? Um, it was, wow. Uh, 
this kid look this kid looks like he could be 12 oh, you know he, that's um, horrible an un- unfair trial and executed for the murders of two young girls there it is in that's 1944 yeah, yeah, you know what i wonder if they they got they base uh, this basis story. on the green mile Remember? What, what uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, I, I, I think they do. I'm sorry. They may have. Damn, he was 12 they, in that movie. Do. He was. He was. He, he was a 12 year old. <laughs> he, he was a big ass, buff ass 12 year old. But no, this no, no this, but this I get kid what was you're a little saying. kid. He weighed 90 pounds. I get what you're saying. But, but yeah. they they may have based the. Uh, I guess Stephen the, King may have based his story on off, that off that, that but, story. But, but they gave he gave him a a larger physical mm-hmm. you know towering yeah. presence yeah. I guess right but uh. Yeah, that was a horrible, horrible story. Yeah. Sorry to bring that up, but that's, that's sad. That's as fuck. very it is, you know? sad. <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, that's the thing is that real life is always way more horrifying and scary than, than, than any than of the these movies, movies we yeah. could ever watch. Than this like, damn wee wee board. Yeah. When you when you think about, you when you you think about the wee wee boards and everything else. <laughs> Hey, no, he said, you guys it's, can play about, it. it's about fuck around and find out. You wanna, <laughs> find true. Out. I just don't want to fuck around and find out. You, That's right. You, you I'll t- blow out the candle. You want to touch my wee-wee board? I'll, I'll play. Let's play. Let's play the wee-wee okay. board, maybe. I ain't no. touching no wee-wees. <laughs> no. So, we so just, speaking of, speaking of, uh, of executions that were not, should not have been done, right? Where you... I, I saw one where I thought that this was possible, where this person was probably set up and he was executed. I didn't do anything. Yeah. So a um, man named uh, George Engel was a German-American activist who was executed for his alleged involvement. And in, now this is what's funny is when I looked this up on Wikipedia, he was executed for his alleged involvement. They they don't say he was guilty of. This is one of the few ones that I've, I saw that, they still do an alleged, alleged. He was, even he though was, even he though was he was guilty. found guilty, he was found guilty. He was found guilty, but they stated as an alleged. I thought that was really interesting. Is that this? is weird. So um, his alleged involvement in the Haymarket riot of 1886. He was a member of the International Working People's Association, a radical labor okay. organization that advocated for social revolution. Mm-hmm. He was arrested and tried for conspiracy to commit murder, <laughs> even though he was not <laughs> present at the scene of the bombing. He ma- he maintained his innocence until the end and refused to ask for clemency. He was hanged along with three other anarchists on November 11th. I think it says uh, around eight. I'm not sure that numbers this- are skewed. But um, uh, his last words, which I thought was interesting, that I, I, I think it's one of those points where people make says, this shows that anarchy rules. You know what I mean? There's no There's no true rule. But anyway, he says... Hooray for anarchy. This is the happiest moment of my life. That he makes me think. participated in anarchy. It well, makes that makes me, me think, think he didn't he do did, it. Oh. That he did not do it. Mm, okay. So I have to say, as far as that point in history in, in England at that time, there was so much happening with the working class. I mean, you had the whole match girl thing happening. You had so much going on there. And yes, there were a lot of riots and a lot of people doing bad things to try to get attention. He may have very well been a part of it, but he may not have been the guy. You know, he well, he ended up being the guy that they pinned it on. Is that like some V for, v for Vendetta shit? Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I love exactly. it. That's like one of my favorite movies. That's it's an awesome movie. It's quite so good. beautiful and awesome. I cried yeah. and she said, God is in the rain. <laughs> I have no idea why. I was just very, I was very moved. Yeah, uh, that, that movie is it was like it good. was like him in the fire, her in the rain, and I was like, oh, yeah. it's "Fuck!" Like, this it's is like one of those right movies now. you wish for a second, but you know it, there can never no, be a second. No, it can't. It would ruin it. It yeah. would ruin it for Do me. Do you exactly. know Ain't Nineteen Eighty Four, George Orwell? The book. No. Okay. Or the, there was a or book. the movie. Oh, it was actually based off of a real actual person that wore that mask, right? No. Well, it the same? yes, oh. Guy Fox was a real guy. Yeah, that, that's what and, it was. Yes, yeah, so. That was a real thing that occurred in their history. However, I felt like um, 1984 kind of rode off of that. George Orwell had this amazing book about um, how the government can just kind of take over everything, every part of your world, every part of your life. The you ability have no privacy, to change history. Change history. So say something happened yesterday, but they don't want you to know that it happened. So then they change the news so that you don't even know what happened. Which is totally true. I mean, or you, they brainwash you into thinking 
that's not what happened. This is what happened. Well, only thing you have but, to do to do in our day and age, even right now, is look at who owns newspapers. True. You'd be interested. Who the fuck to, reads them anymore? No, no. Uh, you're talking about everything online and all that oh. stuff. All how the news, news stations. is released. Gotcha. Yeah. Po- yep. Politicians and things like that. They, yep. they, they, they've Black Rock. They've been known for buying uh, news companies, so they release the news that they want to release. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so you I'm need, gonna give you. You need to watch 1984, though. Yeah, I'm gonna I give think you. You'll uh, appreciate it. I'm gonna give you a, a a funny one, dark one, and then a funny one. Yeah. How's that? Look. Uh, this guy named Rob, Robert Charles Comer is convicted of murder, rape, blah 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 blah. Uh, his last words were, go Raiders. <laughs> what the fuck? He was obviously a big football fan. Yeah. And uh, yeah. From California. Go Raiders. Yeah, good for him. Yeah. Surprised they didn't change their name to be associated with, mm. to not be associated with right? him. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, but they're already Raiders, which is sort of like, you know, pirates that raid. Mm-hmm. And- I'll, 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 I'll go ahead uh, and read the other one uh, that is funny. Uh, this guy named uh, Gary Burris. Um, he got lethal injection. But anyway, bef- his last words were, beam me up. <gasps> he didn't even say Scotty. He didn't say Scotty. He, had a, he, he knew things Maybe that we didn't things. know. He was just waiting for oh, his fuck. people to come back and yeah. retrieve him. Oh, shit. Um, the last one I'll leave you with is one that I thought was uh, probably the most um, horrifyingly, pr- horrifyingly poetic, oh, I guess mm-hmm. you might say. Um, his yeah. name was uh, Peter Curtin. He was a nostor- notorious serial killer. I can't even talk. His name was Peter Curtin. was a notorious serial killer who terrorized the city of uh, Dusseldorf, Germany, mm. in the late t- 1920s. He was known as the Vampire of Dusseldorf. Mm. Uh, he did a lot of sadistic crimes, including murder, rape, cannibalism, and blood drinking. He confessed to killing at least nine people and attempting to kill more than 30 others. He was executed by guillotine. Mm. Now this is an Ooh yeah. This is the 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 main thing you need to know with this quote. He says to someone, "Tell me, after my head has been chopped off, will I still be able to hear at least for a moment the sound of my own blood gushing from the stump of my neck? That would be a pleasure to end all pleasures." Ooh. I've heard that before somewhere. I have too. That is fucking if Dark. he was so oh, yeah. much about the blood, yeah, that kind of you know. Can I hear my own blood, blood. spooging out of Ugh. my own neck? Spooging. Yeah, that brings <laughs> up a good point. What would your last words be? Don't stop! <laughs> <laughs> no, please. <laughs> what would yours be? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I have this idea that I'm going to fall off of a cliff because I tripped and fell. So on the way down, I hope I turn around and go, peace out, motherfuckers! Because <laughs> I don't know what else to say in that moment. But I know I'm just going to scream and fall on my face on the rocks and die. Yeah, but you, yeah, You're going to be like, ow! <laughs> <laughs> ow! <laughs> what about you, Deontay? Uh, I'd have had a lot of dreams. My my, say my one dream about dying. Um, I jumped off a building. As soon as I hit the floor, I wake up. So, what would your last words be? Yeah, that has nothing to do with your <laughs> words. Okay. Uh, that was uh, a great yeah. dream and everything. You uh, dipshit. Because uh, you hit the ground, but then you woke up. So that's cool. You you live, but. Where's the mouse? I saw my chicken. <gasps> there we go. go. That's good. That's good. <laughs> that kind of makes sense to Deontay, it d- it too. Does. I put some hot sauce on my chicken. And then I die. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I say chicken, and I... Uh, yep. Take my, last, know, first take my last breath. <sighs> chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. That was the, that was the worst one thus far. <laughs> just, I mean, D, D, D's imagination of turning around and being able to flip everybody else, going "fuck you guys," you know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds boring. But, like, I want to <laughs> die eating some chicken. Fuck it. No, no, you're not dying eating chicken. These are your last words, brother. You're dying. You're like, eh. what order, is the last <laughs> things you want to have people hear you say before uh, you perish? Order me the the blossoming onion. <laughs> <laughs> R. Kelly did it. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, dude. Make it about you. I don't know. Yeah. 
I'm real tired of your <laughs> shit. R. Kelly like. didn't do it. I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's better. <laughs> at uh, least it's personal. At least you saved an innocent man. <laughs> Even though he released some songs that said, I admit it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. All right, don't know. All right Drew, what do you the, got? The bro? only thing that, like, the first thing I thought of is, like, I've been preparing for this moment for my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> that was the only thing I think of. This fucking it's tra- pretty brilliant, it's actually. It's pretty good. Good. This fucking motherfucking uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger? What'd you call me? Schwarzenegger? Schwarzenegger. He's <gasps> a mom. I've been ready for this my whole life. You a motherfucking lie. What? No, I said I've been preparing for this moment for my entire life. Shit. That's, that's, I mean, that's poetic, though, because Shut, we all are. Somebody yeah. shove a carrot in your ass while you sleep. You ain't never watched A Thousand Ways to Die? Oh, my God. I have seen a that A carrot going your ass and you about to die, you like, oh. Uh, you don't get to say no word. You just moan it because it feel good, but then uh. it hurts. If I remember right, it was a... Uh, it's a carrot in the vagina. It was. And the vagina got a small tear in it. And she shaved it first. She did cut it out, did she? She, she did. She should have done it all natural. It like ruins it all. <laughs> oh, God. She cut that motherfucker down, put ranch on it and shit. I'm like, yeah. What's that girl, Millie, Millie Bobby Brown? The Darcy has a banta. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown? Yeah. The yeah. girl from Stranger Things? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. We you ever seen the video of her when she was talking about carrots? No. no. They're uh they're comparing her to uh what was that that British movie was it a British movie I don't know Gr- Grumpus what is it <laughs> Crump- Krampus no 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 not the Krampus I don't know Google it I gotta Google it <laughs> Google it oh, Google it you son of a bitch that's our most useful tool <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown Google changes Cra- lives uh, carrot <laughs> then, I got carrot. a question. Yeah. Winnie Houston or Taylor Swift? Who y'all got? Houston. Winnie Houston. <sighs> Who the fuck would pick? Oh, no, she might. Don't do it, she man. Those Swifties will kill you. The Swifties are crazy. Whitney Houston is. The Swifters are crazy, my bro. Enti- well, okay, Whitney Houston and well, she was a Janet crackhead, Jackson right? were yeah. my entire, Where's like, Bobby? nine <laughs> to 14-ish years. Like, them two. Of course, I was also... Madonna and Cindy Lauper in that time. Madonna. So, like, those were my four bitches. Like, they were the ones. Sorry, I just saw you and Bobby Brown with a camera. So I'm going to ask you again. It's Telly Swift Jane. or Whitney Houston. And I. Yeah. Whitney, Whitney Houston. So she okay. said the dirtier the carrot, the better. She, I don't know why. They gave her what? shredded. I never even watched the video. I just saw the clips. What? They gave her shredded carrots, baby carrots, and then the big carrots okay. uncut. Okay. She's like, no, we don't do the shredded carrots. She's like, and these are these are pretty good. And then she was like, but these, these are the best. And she's like, and the dirty are the better. Uh, and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh Am I wrong? God. That's a little weird hearing that from my You know, she's, she's like engaged to John Bon Jovi's son. To Drake? Oh, no. No, John Bon Jovi's son. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know Drake and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a lot of that. I've missed you. I've totally missed you, too. Oh, there she goes eating a carrot. That's a little weird hearing that from 11. It is. I don't like shredded carrots, she says. Oh, look, baby carrots. These are great. The Desi <laughs> the But you got to see the, you got to see the picture of like, you'll, you'll know it's like a claymation movie. Oh, they did something with it. I don't it. know. It's a I, meme I don't know. now. It's a meme. Okay. Oh. It's frustrating um, me because I like to bring up things and I do not recall at all. Pennywise doesn't know how to work that. Stop it. He came, he came <laughs> from Pennywise does not know how to uh, work. Gray knows the, everything. Pennywise does not know how to work the portal gun. Stop it. By the way, if you're just listening to this, I'm dressed up as Rick from Rick and Morty. <laughs> what? I think we're a bit What are you dressed it, up sir? as? Yeah, D. D. Um, I am Buttercup from the movie Power Princess Bride. Oh. Yeah, I think you're a little bit away from that. <laughs> what are you, Deontay? I am um, a preacher at a church. I thought I thought you were a defendant. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm a public defendant, and then I'm a preacher, and then um, I'm Luther Vandross. Oh. Okay. Never so I try to be. <laughs> yeah, I was like waiting you. for the singing I love to happen. It. But Never. that's yeah, that's the picture. Who but do the you fuck see? Is oh that? yeah, is that me? Do you remember down? That's you. down into the right. Who the fuck? He that's even black. Oh, that's yeah, from yeah. the movie. That is from, yeah. I can't remember what movie that's. So is. that's me. 
I can't either. He no, uh, he ugly as fuck. So, really I wanted to, I wanted to do this. I was going to do it earlier, but we never talked about who we were. So okay, I'm Joel from The Last of Us. I know you guys are not fucking nerds, so you guys didn't, didn't watch I, it or play the game. I know who you are, and it's amazing. But what if, like, hold on, Joel? Oh my god, is that a bite mark? Uh oh, fuck. Take me now. I want to oh kill some god. people. Hold on. You gotta Give start, me like 10 seconds. Okay. <laughs> you got to start jacking off. You got to start jacking off or you're going to be infected. So Drew is currently uh, getting into his satchel Joel. bag. Oh, sorry. Joel. Joel is getting into his satchel bag right now. Hurry he, up. He's been bitten. He's looking for something. S- start jacking off before you get he's, infected. Oh, 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 God. Oh, Jesus. He's infected. Oh, fuck. I'm a clicker. You got. Uh, a- he's a clicker. Is that what A's look like? Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. He's... Are you going to start jacking off now? Okay. He, he's turned into a shroom. It does. Hold on, hold on. Deontay, don't eat him. Hold on. I'm waiting to start jacking off. That's all I'm waiting on. <laughs> the shroom can't, the clicker can't see. <laughs> I think that's pretty more accurate, too. It's uh, Joel is now a clicker. He's transformed. Oh, my God. Clicker or... Clicker. 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 Yeah. I'd rather call him a nicker. We ain't talking about Niagara. You a Niagara. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, why your chin so long? <laughs> why your chin so long? I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Um, as, as, a cl- as a clicker, um, do you want to say anything? Hmm. <laughs> You mm-hmm. eat spaghetti? Damn, that shit crazy. Uh, I've never, I've never looked at life th- that way. Um, yeah. It's interesting. I used to be gay. I ain't gay no more though. So I feel you. Being All right. gay sucks. Well, we appreciate you guys joining us uh, from Point of No Response. I am Rick. Next to me, I have Pennywise. Bob Gray. I have Joel now Clicker, and I have this uh, public defender priest. Hey man, hire me on your case. I get you <laughs> ten years plus two days off. We'll see you guys on the next episode of Point of No Response. Happy Halloween, everybody! Teleporte, holla, happy Halloween. Point of No Response.